Well, good morning, folks, and welcome. My name's Daniel Sobey, and here we are in Sobey Fitness Kitchen. And I'm wearing Lisa's glasses in an attempt to look more intelligent, but uh, I can hardly see anything, so I'm going to take them off. And um, today, I'm going to talk a little bit about sugar, and specifically about how much sugar is hidden or in some of these common, comedy drunk drinks, um, and really how we probably don't need to. Okay, uh, so what's the point of sugar? Well, a long time ago, when we were living in the trees, flying from one place to the other, uh, we developed a sweet tooth. That's right there. And the sweet tooth was designed for us to go looking and hunting and searching out for fructose. So here I am, rummaging around, and look, I found a apple, which is a bit bruised apple, um, and I found a pear, and I found an orange. And, and other kind of fruits and berries and other kind of sugary loaded little treats actually. And that was great because sugar is a, is a, is a, is a great energy source. One teaspoon of sugar, which weighs about, I don't know, a couple, a couple of grams, gives us about maybe 25 calories. So, oh that's not too much, but if you load that up, you can get a lot of energy from quite a small Oh man, look at that. It's not getting in there. Okay. Um, so sugar is great for that and good it's great for giving us energy. But here in the 21st century we don't have a lack of food or energy. In fact we have an abundance of it. Um, so really sugar has become a sweetener. I mean I like coffee. Coffee's quite um, quite a sour drink. So having a little bit of sugar in it sweetens it up. It's very nice, thank you very much. Um, so What's the point of today's session? Well, today's session is been born out of conversation with, with clients, friends, customers, people who, who complain either about gaining weight, they got diabetes, they got blah, blah, blah. So I thought, well, let's have a look at, at how much sugar is in, uh, is in some of these drinks. So um, a lot of them, they measure initially in 100 milliliters, okay? So let's have a look in this, in this bottle of Coke, Coca-Cola, came to town, um, 100 milliliters, has 10 grams of sugar. So that looks something like this, okay? So I've got this here. That's 100 milliliters. So that's about a coffee cup. I could probably get a little bit more in there. All right, but it's generally a coffee cup. So for visual aids, I'm gonna use this glass. So this is 100, 100 milliliters of, of, of drink. That's not a lot, right? If I was a small child, I'd probably drink that. Um, quite easy but there's 10 there's 10 grams of sugar in there so just make sure these are set to zero okay so 10 grams look something like this so this is a this is a teaspoon one two oh not quite there so three so three teaspoons pull that in there pull that that just looks horrible. Okay, so that's 10 grams in 100 mils, which no, 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 you can easily work that out, but that's 10%. Now, how much sugar are we allowed? Because we must have an allowance, and sure enough we do. So according to the Department of Health, which is like the, uh, they have this thing called the Eat Well plate. I'm just gonna try a sip of this. That, that is disgusting, quite frankly. Oh, that's horrible. That is just ruined that water. So anyway, according to the American and the British Department of Health, independently they say, ah, they say that's disgusting. They say that for a small child, so that's a child up to about the age of 10, they're allowed three teaspoons of sugar added to stuff a day. So if they have cereal, little bits of sugar on top, it's fine. If they have a chocolate bar that's got sugar in it, that's fine. If they're drinking that, well, if that was all they had, that'd be fine. But if they're drinking that, plus putting sugar on their cereal, plus all of a sudden, ooh, bad news, bad news. And who cares? What's the bad effects of eating too much sugar? Well, fortunately, I've just found this. That's not my teeth, by the way, okay? But they could be yours. Oh, well, they could be mine if I kept on eating and drinking 
that kind of rubbish. All right, so anyway, what we've said so far is in that small amount is a small child's daily allowance. I'm not a small child, I want more. Okay, so for me, what I'm allowed, because I'm a manly man, um, I'm on like a 2,500 calorific diet, I'd be allowed about nine. So I could, have I could have three of those, that'd be my allowance. But if I drink coffee, so say I had nine coffees a day, that would take up my allowance. If I had a coffee with a biscuit, well then that's taking it over the top. All right, and obviously the other effects of having too much sugar are things like diabetes, weight gain, because we've already said there's quite a lot of energy in this stuff, and if you don't use it, it just goes to fat, and then you end up fat. So we don't want that. So let's come back to the Coke. So in a 500, so this is a bottle. So you know what? I'd have no problem, no problem drinking a bottle of Coke. And if I go to the pub, well, this is a pint glass. So let's have a look. I reckon, so this is 500 mils, so, dun 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 dun, oh brilliant, look at the head on that, so 500 mils, that gives us, well, 20, 27 grams of sugar for 250, so half of this is 200, uh, 27, so 500 milliliters, so this whole bottle, it's got 27 times 2, so that's 54 grams. So there we go, that's a pint. There I go, we go to the pub, I go for a drink, and I've got a drink which has got 54 grams of sugar in it. So we know that 3 teaspoons gives us 10 grams. So how many teaspoons is that going to be? Well, I'm sure I could work it out, but there's 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We're getting there. Thirteen, fourteen, I reckon one more. Fifteen. 16, 16, 16 teaspoons of sugar. Let's bring this around here. Okay, so, oh great, it's moving. Hang on. Well, anyway, on there, that's a bit more now, it's gone up to 20, 40, that's about just over 60, but I think that's because I broke, I moved it. That's uh, all, oh, crikey. That's all that sugar in there. Look at that. 16, 16 teaspoons. Now I want to do a teaspoon of sugar as well. It's not, it's not a heat teaspoon. It's a flat teaspoon. So I am allowed, as an adult, as an adult, I can do what I like. But I'm allowed nine or eight or nine of those flat teaspoons. So in that one drink, that one drink, that was 16, so I've, I've doubled, pretty much. I've doubled my daily allowance, and that's in one drink. So, if I was a teenager, and I was sat there on the Xbox, being inactive, get good thumb control there, uh, drinking a couple of lamb, then, that's not good, right? So, let me, let me, let me, let me get another glass. So let's get a plain one. We're going to fill it with water. And I'm going to add the 16, 54 grams of sugar into that. Oh, does that look good? Does that look appealing? Does it look attractive? You know what I've got to do, right? I've got to test this. So this is essentially it. We've got a few bubbles in there, that makes it a bit more interesting. I'm sure there's some other ingredients. It's black, I don't know what it's about, but... I don't know I can do this. Mm. Oh, that is disgusting. I think it's a normal drink. Okay. Oh, no. 
Okay, that's horrible. So, oh, I feel I feel sick, man. That's your challenge. Drink that, then you'll be sick, and you'll never drink sugar again. So, one of these, 54 grams of sugar. That's about what did I say, 16 teaspoons. 16 teaspoons, and that's for cook. What we've got over here? Oh, monster, raw. And my personal favourite from when I was a young child, I used to love, I used to love drinking that. But well, let's look at this one. So a 250 mils has got 38 grams of sugar. Are you kidding me? 38 grams of sugar. <sighs> Could be a long time if I had, well, okay, so that's, so 500 mils, let me get my sugar back. 500 mils is gonna be 38, 76 grams of sugar. 76 grams of sugar. Let's make sure that's on the flat. I'm gonna do this kind of quick. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Now I reckon that's it. 18. 18 teaspoons of sugar in one of those. 18 teaspoons of sugar in one of those. How many's in there? In the whole can, we've got oh, 46 grams. So that's actually a little bit less. A little bit less. Let's look at this one, LucasAid Sport. I see lots of my little kid kickboxers rocking up with LucasAid Sport. More like a teenager age. Um, and in a 500 ml bottle, 18 grams of sugar. 18 grams of sugar. So, 18 grams. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. Okay. So, if your young child is like three teaspoons a day, maybe four, you've got six in that one already. You can guarantee they'll drink a bottle of that easy peasy. Oasis, 20 grams of sugar. So there's even more in that one. Yeah, 20 grams of sugar. I, didn't, I couldn't find a fruit shoe, there's none in the shop today, but you, well, I don't think fruit shoe's got added sugar, but there is still sugar in it. Capri Sun, if my girls have Capri Sun, crikey, they go hysterical. If I have Capri Sun, I go ahead hysterical. All right, if I have this stuff here, I'm all kind of trouble. And so is everyone else around me. So if we come back to health and fitness goals, quite often a lot of folks want to exercise because of weight loss, right? So there we go, I go to the gym, I'm gonna be in there for an hour, maybe I'm gonna do a fitness class. Um, let's say we're doing a body combat class. Average person, maybe 600 calories, Let's say 500, let's underestimate it. And they rock up with a bottle of this. Well, I've had a bottle of this before I start. So, how many calories are in this? So in a 500 ml serving, 310 calories. Okay, I'm gonna do a class where I'm gonna burn 500 calories. I've already taken on 310. I work really hard, maybe I'll do 600. I finish the class, whew, I'm gonna have a drink of that again. So, I've had a drink before and a drink after. What's that, that's 620 calories. I've done 600 cal uh, calories worth of work in that class. Oh, brilliant, I've gained 20 calories. No, chuck it away. Have some of that instead, bit of water. If you've got a normal healthy diet, you ain't gonna need any sugary energy drink. You're just gonna need some water to keep yourself hydrated. So folks, my message for today is watch out for the hidden sugars. Watch out for the hidden sugars. I'm not saying sugar's bad, because it's not. 
but a love or a habit or an addiction to sugar is not a good thing. So, on that note, I'm going to leave you to it. I'm going to clear up this mess before Lisa comes in and tells me off. And I will see you all next time. Bye!